15 minutes before beginning the focusing run, connect the power cord to an electrical outlet and bring the cooling block up to the correct temperature by turning the power switch to the on position and the cooling switch to setting 1 for 10 degrees Celsius or 2 for 20 degrees Celsius depending on your requirements for temperature regulation. When ready for focusing, turn the power switch off and open the cooling block cover by unscrewing the block screw. Position the focusing assembly over the focusing station so the vents and colored buttons on the electrode assemblies are facing up, and when facing the microrotophore, the anode, or red assembly, is to the left, and cathode, or black assembly, is to the right. Gently push the anode end into the left anode contact until the contact is completely retracted. Lower the focusing assembly into the cooling block and slide the cathode end into the notch on the chassis. If necessary, rotate the assembly until the slots on the cathode assembly align with the notch. Close the cooling block and tighten the screw. Turn the power switch to on and make sure the focusing chamber rotates freely within the cooling block. If it does not, loosen the lid by turning the screw on the cooling block counterclockwise until the focusing chamber can move freely. Turn the power switch off. Using a 10 milliliter syringe, add 6 milliliters of 0.1 molar phosphoric acid through the vent hole of the anode, or red assembly. Using a different 10 milliliter syringe, add 6 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide through the vent hole of the cathode or black assembly. Place the lid on the chassis. Turn the power switch on and set the cooling switch to setting 2. Use a power supply capable of power control at 1 watt. Pyrad's Power Pack HV power supply is recommended. For this protein sample, set the power supply to 1 watt constant power and set the voltage limit to 1000 volts. Attach the leads from the lid. Start the run and monitor the focusing progress by observing the voltage increase over time. The run is complete when the voltage stabilizes. At that point, allow the run to continue for 30 minutes before harvesting. When the run is complete, turn the power supply off and disconnect it from the microrotophore cell. Turn off the power to the oscillating motor and cooling block and remove the lid. After an hour or two of isoelectric focusing in the microrotophore, the sample proteins become separated and their individual colors can be seen. Phycocyanin is a blue protein with subunits ranging in PI from 4.5 to 5.5. This protein is expected to focus towards the anode in fraction number 3. Hemoglobin is a brownish red protein with subunits ranging in PI from 6.0 to 7.5. This protein is expected to focus near the middle of the focusing chamber in fractions number 6 and or number 7. Cytochrome C is a reddish-orange protein with subunits ranging in PI from 8.0 to 9.0. This protein is expected to focus toward the cathode in fractions number 9 and or number 10.